Okay, in this video, we'll be looking at how you can create a custom map in Mapbox and then use that map as a background for your visualization in Tableau, as I did for this dashboard about Singapore's National Day. I'll step through how you create the customizations, how to create a custom link for a map, and then how you use that link in Tableau. And let's first ask the question of why you'd even want to create a custom map. So Tableau has six predefined map styles, which you can easily switch between. So let's just have a look at each of these to see their effect on this dashboard. So we start off, we've got the light map, then we have normal and dark, streets, and then we have the outdoors map, which is very similar to the streets map, but it also has things like contour lines. So it's very good if you're mapping terrain that has uh, many changes in, in elevation. And then finally, we've got the satellite map. In this particular case, though, I also want the map to serve an aesthetic function and match the colors used in the visualization itself. So that's why I'm using a custom map here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head over to mapbox.com. And if you don't already have an account, just click on sign up to make an account. So just enter your details and create an account as you would on most sites. And once you've done that, you can go back and click on login. So I'll go ahead and log in here. So once you're logged in, you'll see this screen. And then we want to go ahead and click on the create a map in studio button. And that'll open up the studio in a separate tab. And you can see I have a number of maps below, which I've created previously. But we're going to go ahead and create a new map. So we're going to click on new style. And it gives you a number of templates that you can work from. So I'll click on the monochrome template. And you can see at the bottom here, I have a number of colors that I can start from. So I'm going to click the bubblegum, kind of pink color. And I want to customize that. Okay, so the map template opens up in the studio in the edit mode. And then we can start to make a, a number of customizations. So the first thing I might do is actually just go to the location where I'm going to be showing the map. So I have a proper view of what I'll actually display in Tableau. So to do that, Head over to the search button in the top right and I'll type in Singapore. Okay, and then I'm just going to zoom into the area that's of interest. So it's around here. Drag this over. So this is kind of the map area that I'm going to be using. And I really just want to make one change, and that's just to change the color of the water to change from this pink color into a kind of a light gray color. So there's a few ways you can make edits to the maps in Mapbox. You can use the components on the left. So we have components and layers, and a component is made up of many layers. So you can click on one of the components and then start to edit the attributes here. So you can go to the layers panel and navigate through the hierarchy to find the exact property that you want to edit. What I found is to be the easiest way is to actually just click directly on the map. And this will tell you which components or layers are at that exact location. So you can see here, for example, there's land, water and sky. And if we go to the layers, we can see each of those individual layers. Whereas if I click over here, you can see I've got other components such as points of interest and the road network, a number of other layers here. So let's just click back on the water. I'm going to go to the layers. And I'm just going to click the color swatch next to the water. And when I do that, it navigates through the hierarchy of layers to the land, water and sky. And if we expand that, we can see that we've selected water here. And this is the current color of the water. Okay, so in order to change, you'll see if I try and click here, I can't actually make any changes. So the first thing to do is click on override and that this lock here becomes unlocked. Okay, so then I can start to drag this color around and let go, and then you'll see the map will update. I just want to make this a light gray with a very small amount of pink in there. Okay, that's good. So you can see you've got the old color and new color. Okay, so I'm just going to close down these settings. Okay, so now I've made all of the edits that I want to make. I just need to give the map a name, and then I can go ahead and publish it. So to do that, click in the top left, and I'll give this a name. I'll call this Singapore map. Click the tick button to confirm. And now on the top right, I can go ahead and click publish. You can see when we do that, we can preview any changes that we made. You can see the water goes from pink color to the gray. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I go ahead and click publish. And it tells me it's successfully published. Okay, then now to be able to use the map in Tableau, I need to actually share it and take a link from Mapbox and then bring that into Tableau. So to do that, on the top right, click on share. And have this panel come up. And to share this, we scroll down, click on to third party, click the drop down. I'm going to select Tableau and then we use this link here. So we just copy this and then we'll use this link in Tableau. Okay, so let's switch back to Tableau now. I just need to click on the map to make sure it's selected. Then we go up to the map menu, background maps. I'm going to add a map box map. Okay, I just need to give this a name and then enter the URL. And this is the URL we just copied from map box. So I'll just press Ctrl V to paste that in and then click OK. Okay, and you can see the custom map immediately appears in the background and that's now being used in this Tableau dashboard. This is another example where I've used a custom map box map in this travel visualization. 
So I used a custom map here as I wanted to be able to see the terrain around these mountainous regions, while also keeping that monochrome look with minimal distractions from other features on the map. So if you're working on a visualization that has a strong geographical focus, I definitely recommend exploring what's possible in Mapbox and trying out using a custom Mapbox map in Tableau. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.